Maasim Acts 10. There was a certain man in Caecaria called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian Band, a devout man and one that feared Yah with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to Yah always. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of Yahuwah coming in to him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he saw he was afraid and said, What is it, Athenai? And he said unto him, Your prayers and your alms are come up for, me, for a memorial before Yahuwah. And now send men to Yafo and call for Shimon, whose surname is Kepha. He lodges with one Shimon, a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell you what you ought to do. And when the angel which spoke unto Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of them that waited on him continually. And when he had declared at all these things unto them, he sent them to Yafo. And on the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Kepha went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour, and he became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw at heaven opened and a certain vessel descending unto him as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to earth, rather, and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Kepha, kill and eat. But Kepha said, Not so, Adonai, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean, and the voice spoke unto him again the second time, What Yah has cleansed, that call not common. This was done thrice, and the vessel was received up again into heaven. Now while Kepha doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen should mean, behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Shimon's house, and stood before the gate, and called, and asked whether Shimon, which was surnamed Kepha, were lodged there. While Kepha thought on the vision, the Ruach said unto him, Behold, three men seek you. Arise, therefore, and get you down, and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Then Kepha went down to the men which were sent unto him, from Cornelius, and said, Behold, I am he whom you seek. What is the cause wherefore ye are come? And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, and one that fears Yah, and of good report among all the nation of the Yahudim, was warned from Yah by a holy angel to send for you into his house, and to hear words of you. Then called he them in, and lodged them, and on the morrow Kepha went away with them, and certain brethren from Yafo accompanied him. And the morrow after they entered into Kekarya, and Cornelius waited for them, and had called together his kinsmen and near friends. And as Kepha was coming in, Cornelius met him, and fell down at his feet, and worshipped him. But Kepha took him up, saying, Stand up, I myself also am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in, and found many that were come together. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Yahudi to keep company or come unto one of another nation. But Yahuwah has showed me 
that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore came I unto you without gainsaying, as soon as I was sent for. I ask therefore, for what intent ye have sent for me? And Cornelius said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour, and at the ninth hour I prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing, and said, Cornelius, your prayer is heard, and your alms are had in remembrance in the sight of Yahuwah. Send therefore to Yafo, and call hither Shimon, whose surname is Kepha. He is lodged in the house of one Shimon, a tanner by the seaside, who, when he comes, shall speak unto you. Immediately, therefore, I sent to you, and you have well done that you are come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before Yah, to hear all things that are commanded of Yahuwah. Then Kepha opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that Yah is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted with him. The word which Yahuwah sent unto the children of Yahshadael, preaching peace by Yahusha HaMashiach, he is Yahuwah of all. That word, I say, ye know, which was published throughout all Yahud, rather Yahud, and began from Galil after the immersion which Yahuchanan preached, as how Yahuwah anointed Yahusha of Nazareth with the Ruach HaKadosh and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for Yah was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did, both in the land of the Yahudim and in Yerushalayim, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him Yahuwah raised up the third day and showed him openly. Now to all the people, rather not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of Yahuwah, even to us, who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of Yahuwah to be the judge of quick and dead. To him gave all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believes in him shall receive remission of sins. While Kepha yet spoke these words, the Ruach HaKadosh fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Kepha, because that on the other nations also was poured out the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify Yah. Then answered Kepha, Can any man, f man forbid water that these should not be immersed, which have received eth, rather, the eth Ruach HaKadosh as well as we? And he commanded them to be immersed in the name of Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach then prayed they him to tarry certain days.